How the soul should handle the forces of Saturn on planet Earth. Advice and encouragement is given on what to do with the soul forces from Saturn. From Saturn we find the definite changes of outlook upon all phases of human experience, high, low. Those that are hopeful, those that are pessimistic have been and are a part of the experience. Let each experience, then, in its own way, find a usefulness in thy judgment, as well as application of such. For, no, in him and his ways there is ever a constructive purpose, yes, in his commands, and these are that ye love one another, even as I have loved you. What then is the purpose, ye may ask, for this particular sojourn, the lessons to be learned, the stations to be gained, the awareness to be found? In Saturn we find the sudden changes, and where there have been, and may become, apparently changes arising from unseen influences or forces. Also we find the inclinations in the entity that may be called detrimental, or those where thought should be taken. Not to say, do or give expression to that which may bring disputations in the lives and experiences of others, by telling or repeating unkind things. Because a thing may be true doesn't license the self to give expression to same. Rather see thy fellow men in that condition which is the privilege of each soul, as to what it might be if it were quickened by the spirit of truth, and not censure anyone. We find in Saturn the changes that have been, or may be, wrought in the experience of the entity by attitudes and circumstances that apparently are a thing apart from the entity, and have brought and do bring at times wonderment, or disappointments even, in the experience of the entity. In meeting and cultivating attitudes and activities for these experiences, let the mind, the builder hold fast to that expressed in, Lord thou art the way thou wilt direct. From these attitudes and expressions we find the white is that of the purity of purpose in the entity being sought, even through the adversities either from the influences wrought by self or by influences with which the entity has little to do. Beauty in its expression may become as that which might become a stumbling stone, yet if these influences and forces are guided aright, we will find though many changes, as indicated from those activities in Saturn's forces, they may be kept in that of the spiritual import, the expression of the forces from within, as from the meditative, as from the prayerful attitude. And let this be the entity's prayer, ever, in thy hands, O Lord, I give the keeping of my mind, my soul, my body. Let the meditations of my heart, the activities of my hands, be acceptable to thee. For thou art the keeper, thou art the director of my life. If this is held as the frontlet before the eyes, if it is held as the strength for every experience, this may keep a standard that may save many a material heartache. Then, to overcome this, rather place those forces as are manifest through will forces, knowing that these do appear. That, get thee behind me Saturn, Satan, that I will serve the living God, with my body, my mind, my money, my spirit, my soul, for I and his, and through me, my body, my mind, do I manifest my impression, my interpretation of my God. In Saturn we find the inclinations for changes, as to this, that or the other, and to muddle a great many things together in the activity. Hence that injunction is given by the sages of old, the merchant is never the student, neither is the student ever the merchant, should be as a part of the entity's program in its choice of its activity in this experience. In Saturn we find the great changes, sudden changes in the affairs of the entity. As to whether these becoming influences are allowed to make for development or retardment depends upon what the entity does with same. For know that the entity, as each soul, is given the will, the choice. There is the body, mind and soul, the body with its attributes that make for not only the first law of self-preservation, but remember that the mind and soul have the same laws as applying to them, and these in the physical oft run to self and self-indulgences, in the mental questionings, in the soul tenderness, love, those influences that make for that upon which the greater abilities of the entity in the present may be builded. In Saturn we find those influences that have brought changes in the experience, that have become at times very definite. And these become again as stepping stones or stumbling stones, as they have been and are applied in the experience as in relationships to creative forces. 
for what the individual soul entity manifests in its dealings with others, that indeed must it meet again and again. Hence it behooves each entity in the analyzing of self and its desires and its purposes and its hopes, to oft stand aside as it were, and watch itself pass by. For as in the experiences of the entity in those sojourns, and especially that individual one that stands out beyond or above the others, from that which has brought into the experience those forces and influences of love and love's influence, there comes that longing for that cry, yea, for that voice that was an experience, behold, he passeth by. The influences from the activities in that ever-changing force, Saturn, are indicated in the experience, in that there will be many changes and environs of the entity under many circumstances and activities. Yet these may be experienced by thy holding to the love, not of self, but rather of the help, the hope that ye may bring to others in thy way of choice of activities and thy dealings with them in every form and manner. In Saturn we find the greater number of changes that may be a part of the entity. Hence, though the entity comes close to those periods of conflict among the nations of the earth, these will not be in that position of causing too great an anxiety, if there is application of self in those ways, such that you consciously walk close to that which is indeed thy spiritual self in the earth. This is the purpose for which the creative forces gives the opportunity through which there may be the completing of the law, the greater activity in which the entity may apply itself towards bringing into the experiences of others, those things that are creative in themselves. The influences from Saturn, when these have been in conjunction with Uranus and Venus, make for periods when these greater changes and disturbances in the activities and relationships in the material sojourn, become the confusing points. The entity being grounded and founded, though, in that which must be the criterion of the entity. Know in whom and in what ye have believed, and that it, the belief, is founded in a spiritual import. Then the strength of the promises in the creative forces, or God, will be able to keep thee in thy disturbing periods. For, if ye make those promises thine, they will become as great an influence in thy individual experience, in thy heart and thy mind and thy soul, even as ye are able to influence and do influence every person ye contact. For when ye smile ye make the world smile with you, when ye weep oft ye have done it alone. Know there are those who care, and ever he will be thy guide if ye will claim his promises as thine own. The inclination from Saturn will make for the interests in many fields of endeavor. Or because of the mental abilities of the entity, the entity may be attracted to this, that or the other form of endeavor. But in those fields as indicated may we find the greater material and mental successes, as well as the eventual material, worldly called, success. Let, then, material success be the outcome of sincere endeavor to be constructive and creative in the applications of abilities, rather than the first premise of the activities in any field. For the influence from Saturn is the continuous desire for change. There are those innate feelings that another try would be better. Yet there is the inclination to build upon those very forces of materiality that give an expression of place or position or affluence. Trust not in those things that so easily take wings and fly away, or those things that may be so easily undermined by just an unkind word. But rather trust in those things that are eternal, giving good even for evil, giving that which is constructive even for that which is set to undermine thy known activities. In Saturn's influence we find, through this special period, a little indifference. Outwardly, yet it is rather fear as from within because of the changes that have come about in the experiences of the entity in the present, when sudden activities, sudden changes of this or that nature have in the associations or environs of the entity, wrought a great deal of change. This has kept or is inclined to keep the entity rather in that of an indeterminate manner or mean, when the real self seeks for harmonious environs and surroundings. However, unless this seeking for the harmony is kept in a purposeful direction, it may become of itself a stumbling stone, and that too great an influence as a hail fellow well met, may bring those conditions in which there will be the tendency to neglect the higher forces or purposes, and to rely upon material conveniences or material ease, or such would become the inclination. 
hence those activities where rule, regulations in the environs become as things and conditions that are well for the training, the developing, the preparation of the entity for its experiences through this particular sojourn. In Saturn we find the ruling forces, as in conjunction with all of these, have brought and will bring many changes in the experiences of the entity in relationships to the activities or influences through all of the astrological aspects or sojourns. The entity should not have made for marital relations until in the latter portion of the experience, or until after the 26th or 7th year. For, having done otherwise, there will be found, according to these astrological aspects or urges indicated, the experience, as of the mental self, of the necessity for a change in the relationships respecting same. While such relationships, too, are lawful, there may be found to be rather a questioning as to their expedience. Yet for the better activity, if there is the satisfying of self and all good conscience as in relationships to all activities, these must and will become a part of the experience. In Saturn we find those changes which have been indicated in the experience of the entity in the present, as to its environs, as to its association. Yea, as to its very manner of thought. For the entity finds in the present that there have come about changes such that, what it once abhorred it may not altogether embrace, but it would consider same. In patience, realizing that each soul must awaken to its own possibilities and abilities in its relationship to truth, love, God. For, until that influence aroused in materiality is so spiritualized as to become individual, it is only as knowledge. As a knowing about and is not as wisdom that may be daily applied in the experience within relationships to others. From the influence in Saturn we find the changes that have been definite in the experience, as well as the very changeable conditions. When there are indecisions in the offing, as it were, for the entity, and where choices may be made. These are then those influences that would be given as the purposes, the reasons or the activities necessary to make the experience a helpful creative active force in this sojourn. As we have indicated oft for others, we would again indicate for this entity. Count it rather as an opportunity, a gift of a merciful father, that there are the opportunities in the present for the sojourn in the material influences. That the advantages may be taken of opportunities that come into the experience, even through the hardships and disappointments that have arisen. The adverse influences in Saturn make for changes in environs, in locations, in natures of every kind. And these allowed to become stumbling stones, as indicated, prove detrimental rather than beneficial. Hence the necessity for the intenseness towards holding the optimism as well as the pessimistic tendencies. The changing influence in Saturn is for the very definite changes in places, in peoples, in environs, in activities that have been and are a part and parcel of the entity. But every experience is ever in the same line, the same endeavor, the same principle that is living what would ye do with this man, the Christ, in thy heart. Do ye entertain him, do ye make for him an abode? Or does he stand only and knock? And it is not the knowledge of him but the knowledge in him that counts. For as ye live and move and have thy being in the Father, so in him is the manner, the way of life itself. Just as in the Saturn influences we find the changes which have been and may be wrought in the experience. If these are allowed to become stumbling stones rather than stepping stones, they are because of the misconception or misapplication, or the unused influences that are each soul's, each entity's. Use each then in the constructive manner, that we may bring the greater joy. For as ye do it unto the least of thy brethren, ye do it unto thy Maker. In Saturn we find many individual projects, individual activities coming to the experience of the entity. Hence constantly there has been held before the entity off the prospects which in a material way or in a social or financial way, would become more helpful in influence, yet these have often more often than otherwise, not materialized to their full extent. Yet as the entity has learned and does learn patience, long-suffering, not in a sense of duty, but in a sense of opportunity for soul development, greater has been than will be the peace, the harmony, those influences that will bring the greater soul development. 
For these influences are a portion of the experience of every entity entering or passing through the Earth's plane. Under the influences that will be seen in Saturn, making for that regeneration of self in the present experience, this dealing much with the physical forces of the body. Both as pertaining to the physical body and to those influences in the views that are taken by the body or entity, as respecting the varied associations with individuals, with things, conditions and surroundings. Yet one wavered through Jupiter's influence, that making for benevolence in the experience of the entity, that may be as the saving grace, when considered from astrological or innate influences, giving those forces wherein. With the application of will, tempered with that built within the soul force itself. There may be brought those influences that may make for a development through this present experience. As we shall see from those appearances in the Earth's plane, there was the experience when the influences in Saturn brought destructive forces in self, by the destruction to self, rather than submitting to those conditions that would make for the destruction of the moral attitudes and acts of self. These brought the fear, the fear consciousness, and with the giving away during that period of an astrological influence, that we will see in an influence of the combativeness, the ruling factor in the self, much may be understood as to how, where, and when these influences as elementals in the experience may be turned into those of constructive, rather than temperamental or destructive influences in the activities of the entity. In Saturn we find the sudden changes in environs, in surroundings, the desires to see far fields, or, as oft expressed, far away fields appear the greener. These become too easily the aspects of the entity in its search. Leave self out so much, and know thy purpose in the world is not as a proof or as the justification of self, but rather to glorify that influence, that force, that power which gave thee being, gave thee conscious expression. Hence in thy dealings with thy fellow men, bring hope, not for that so much of the material gain, for the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Then, live holy and right in his ways and purposes, the supply, the abundance will be the result of thy fulfilling the law of supply in the experience of someone else. For as ye do it unto the least of his children, ye do it unto thy maker, and he will not leave thee comfortless, neither will he allow thy seed to beg bread, if ye have lived in the way in which the glory of his purpose is a part of thy life. The Saturn's indications show rather the adverse influence, though changes have oft, through the high mental abilities of the entity, been made to become stepping stones rather than hindrances. And indeed fortunate is the entity that is able to turn those influences and forces that appear for the moment to block thought or material activity into periods for the reviving of those purposes for which each soul enters the experience. For thus the entity may come to know that the universal forces or laws are ever applicable in the experiences of individuals and do not alter or change, though they may oft appear to bend, even as does the stick in water or the rays of the anatomical forces in the activities of human experience and human relationships. For God is, and only they who would, who will, who do believe and seek may become aware of their relationships to him. That ye sow, that ye reap. No one may give impetus to the seed of hate nor of joy save as they apply same in their relationships to their fellowmen. For God alone may quicken the spirit. Man may sow the seed of faith, of hope, of love, of long-suffering, or he may sow just the opposites. But God quickens same according to the first principle. That he hath not willed that the soul of man shall perish. Though the body, the encasement of the soul may change oft, yet the growth is ever towards fulfilling that to which it chooses. For it is not as to who shall bring a message from heaven, nor from over the seas. For lo, it is within thine own heart. For there is today, each day, set before thee good and evil, life and death. Choose thou. In the Saturn forces we will find great changes coming into the experience. And there are the needs for the direction as to the intents, as to those conditions that may be as pronouncements of the entity from one period to another. As seen, it is inclined to be a part of the entity's experience that it announces that it will do so and so, and when it is at such and such a place, then such and such other things may be accomplished. These are imaginative. These are intuitive. 
And these should be directed in such a way and manner that these do not become other than as stepping stones for the development of the abilities of the entity. And not stumbling stones to the entity's best interest. For there will be periods, naturally with Uranian, when for a few hours or a few minutes or a few days, it will be very, very morose. Very, very hard to understand why that such an attitude is taken. These will arise within the experience from out of nowhere, and these are the necessary forces then, as indicated in its spiritual aspects, for the directing of same. From the Saturn influences we find the confusion, or the change, or the inability oft for the entity to determine within self as to that course in the material or mental, or even in spiritual associations. Thus we find the entity, as would be apparent to others, thinking or acting in one direction today, and in an entirely different direction tomorrow. Yet the purpose deep within the entity is for the expression of the better influences, and the seeking to know itself. Here some counsel would be given the entity. In analyzing self and these emotions. Know that it is not by chance that the entity enters any given experience, and that the associations or activities with individuals are not by chance. For, in the spiritual you live and move and have your being and your maker. He has not willed that any soul should perish, but has with every temptation, with every trial, given opportunities, friends, connections, associations in which the choice by self will bring those privileges, as well as opportunities for making hardships or temptations into stepping stones in your experience. Then, your ideal is not what you may acquire by gimme, 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 but what may I do, what may I give, in my relationships to others to make that association the beautiful experience, for which ye long so always. Then the ideal is, what may I do or be to others, that they may be better, may have a greater concept of the purposes of life, by even being acquainted or associated with myself. This should be your ideal, in your material life. It is not that the body is all of meat, nor all of position, nor all of that activity in a social manner, nor all of play or work, but all of these enter into the experience. Just as the mental and spiritual body apply, or need, or rely upon the attributes of the phases of the whole, so is it necessary that there be the ideal in the material relationships. And these also must, as in mind, have a spiritual conception if you would grow in grace, in knowledge, in understanding. Then, as you find. If you would have friends, show yourself to be a friend to others. If you would have love in your life, it is necessary that you be lovely to others. If you would have that in your material experience to supply the physical needs of the body, the gratifying or satisfying or contenting of self in its relationships to material things, work in such a manner that others may be inspired by that manner in which you conduct yourself. Not as one afraid, neither as one that is unmindful of the body needs or the body privileges. But abuse not your opportunities, if you would be the gainer in this experience. In Saturn we find the sudden changes that have appeared, and do appear, in the experience of the entity. For, as has been the experience, not only in the joys of living but in the companionships that have been thine through this experience, there have come suddenly and apparently without warning changes and separations. These are a part of thy experience. Then, how necessary to be stable in him, that thy hand slippeth not from the hold upon the Lord, and that thy feet are kept sure upon the rock and the promise of truth and understanding. Then, these are as warnings. Depart not from the faith thou findest in him, and may it be renewed as the spirit ever is within thee. For the spirit is the life. The life is the purpose, the desire. Make them sure in him. We find in Saturn the sudden changes, which have more to do in the extremes with the material than the mental and spiritual. Hence to the self, and to others, things are never as bad as they may appear from the outside, if the heart is kept right. Remember, God looketh on the heart, man looketh on the outward appearances. But keep that whole faith. In Saturn we find the violent changes that have come at times in the material as well as in the astrological or cosmic forces. For, the entity has rubbed out oft and begun all over again. And he loveth those who have repented. This is not said of those who are hard-headed. Do not allow thy temperament to lead thee into not being willing to admit thy faults and to forgive, even as you would be forgiven. 
that tendency from what's the use, has at times tended to make that influence in this experience of being hard, that is not thy nature, not thy making. Be strong, but in him, who came to his own, and his own received him not. Hence hold fast to him, his ways, his manners of approach to all phases of human endeavor. For remember, he was human as well as divine. So art thou divine, to the extent that thou keepest his ways. And thy prayer should ever be, thy will, O Lord, not mine, be done in and through me. We find in Saturn the changes, the experiences that have brought divisions, disturbances, breaking into the hopes, the aspirations, the desires. Yet he is not mocked, whatsoever a soul, an entity, soweth, that must it also reap. But in him ye may find rest unto a weary, disturbed, troubled heart, poured out in such activities as to bring cheer to others, hope and desire for the love of the Father. So may ye find it in thy own experience. This is not far-fetched. This is not that which is merely heard of as from afar. For, remember, as was given by him of old. Lo! He is within thine own heart, thine own mind. Seek him there, for thy body is indeed the temple of the living God. There, in thy purposes, in thy hopes, in thy desires, ye may find him a very present help in the time of trouble. In Saturn we find the great changes that have come into the awareness of the entity in this experience, not only from environs, but from the mental being, as well as the physical. Thus the entity has grown in grace, in knowledge, in understanding. Thus, though oft Saturn's forces may appear from the material angle as stumbling stones, the entity has made them rather stepping stones of service. For, as he hath given, he that would be the greatest among you, he that would be favored by the mercy of a loving father, will and does measure to others that he seeks his God, his loving father, to measure to him. And indeed it becomes a law, in not only the material but the mental and spiritual realms, as ye sow, so shall ye reap. In Saturn we find those unusual aspects of changes bringing helpful influences into the experience of the entity, rather than detrimental forces. This is a benevolent aspect, though to the entity there is oft the latent and manifested desire for conditions or experiences to remain the same, not seeking then great changes. But fear them not, if the mental hopes, attitudes and desires are kept in constructive directions. See in all such changes greater opportunities as being through and of the mercies in a loving Father. Bring into the experience joy, gladness, the natural sources of those influences that arise in peace, harmony and understanding. These as we find are the astrological aspects that produce the effects of changes latent through the soul forces of the entity. We find in Saturn the changes that have been, will be, both good and bad as judged from the purely materialistic angle, yet in the mental and spiritual phases, most of the changes that have been wrought in the present have been toward the more perfect understanding. This pattern, as a part of the entity's experience, should be fused into that as may assist in arousing the urges in and toward those influences the entity may have, upon those with whom the entity comes in contact personally, as well as mentally, through the abilities to draw patterns for individuals who are seeking the better way. In Saturn we find the definite changes that have arisen, especially in connection with the Jupiterian associations. Thus the entity finds self oft put to, as it were, in choices of contacts, of endeavors in relationships with individuals, as to material as well as mental and spiritual choices. Then in Saturn we find the adverse forces, as indicated, bringing disturbing influences, as have been indicated as a part of the entity's present experience. Hence there should be the holding to that principle of divine forces being active in the changes wrought. Know that what is done in secret is proclaimed from the housetop of thine own conscience. Ye may not hide that ye think in secret. Do not fool thyself. For, that done in secret is proclaimed from thy own reaction, thy own activity with others. Do not condemn others for that ye are condemning in thine own self. In Saturn we find the changes, the weaknesses as indicated in both the mental forces and the application at times. For, with its powerful, magnetic personality, the weakness of the entity is to forget that it isn't personality that is spiritual but the individuality. That is the personality of God, or the Son in activity. 
These influences, then, as well as the sojourns in the earth, are chosen to be indicated in order to give the influences to be met, not merely that they are as karmic influences to be met whether or no. For, no. As manifested by him. These are the law. If ye would be forgiven, then forgive, if ye would be loved, then love. Not as a possessive thing, not as an ownership, but as he, the example, the son, has shown in that he thought it not robbery to make himself equal with God, yet lived in the manner in which there was even the forgiveness to them who despitefully used him for fear of jealousy, hate, avarice, malice, and without the thought, the care of why such arose in their experience. From Saturn we find that changes have come into the social, the material, the mental and even spiritual attitudes of the entity. Yet, as has been indicated, only when the entity has turned to those promises of laws as concerning the relationships of an entity or soul to the creative forces, has the entity been able to meet in the material the disturbing forces which arose. Hence, there comes that indication that the entity is meeting problems which have been problems before. What causes, what produces problems in the experience of an entity, either in its mental or its material self? That of non-compliance to the laws, the purposes for which creative forces have given the opportunities to the individual entity. Are these, the entity asks, only of self's own making? Rather, there is the law, inasmuch as ye do it unto the least of these, my children, ye do it unto me. In Saturn we find the changes that have been and may ever be a part of the entity's experience, making for that influence which brings about changes in environs, in associations, in the way of thinking, and in the activities as in relationships to many. To be sure, these in themselves bring problems that are to be met with judgment, consideration, and most of all the manner in which ye would that others do to thee, do ye even so to them. In Saturn we find the changes that have been wrought in the experience, or the associations and activities, the periods of disappointments in individuals, as well as in circumstances that seem to thwart the individual in a purpose which had been set before self. These have come about apparently through the fault of others. The lesson to be gained is patience. For, no, as ye would that man should do to thee, do ye even so to them is the law as well as the gospel. This implies that of the universal constructive force, that as ye do it unto the least of thy brethren ye do it unto thy maker, and that if you would have that which would bring forgiveness from thy better self with the creative force or first cause, you cannot harbor hate, malice, injustice, nor even jealousy, in your own conscience. For these are only the seeds of discontent, while the seed of the spirit are hope and love, brotherly kindness, gentleness, patience. These grow. The others are as weeds in the yard of life of the individual, that bring corruption and discouragement. In Saturn we find there have been many changes wrought in the experiences and associations, much apparently from influences outside of the entity's own control, as if they were of others making altogether. Yet this is only relatively so, for what one is speaks so loud that others seldom hear what is said. What one is follows one, is back of one's consciousness, whether the entity itself becomes aware of it or not. Intimations of how such may be a part of the consciousness may be indicated in what an entity does about its acceptance of tenets, or truths through any definite experience. Hence, as has been given again and again, definite laws, unchangeable laws as to such, may be indicated. These do not falter or fail, whether in spirit, in mind or in matter. What ye sow, ye reap. Apparently there are often experiences in which individuals reap that which they have not sown, but this is only the short self-vision of the entity or the one analyzing or studying purposes and ideals in relationship to those particular individuals. We find in Saturn the change that has been, may be wrought. For this is the environment in which there is purification, not putrefaction, but purification, though judgments of the entity may vivify or putrefy the activities of others, when judged by the standards as set by the entity. Do not attempt to have double standards for others or for self, or for certain groups. For, the Lord thy God is one, and is not a respecter of persons, but he would, wills, that all should be equal one with another. Saturn brings the many changes that have been in the present experience, as also indicated in such a varied activity, as the entity has manifested in the material world, 
bringing what might be called an old soul, for it is manifested not only in those influences in the earth for good, but in those that have been questioned by man. Yet the intent and purpose, the hope, the desire never began in such a purport or purported activity, influenced rather by circumstance. Thus that extreme that arises in the necessity, then, to reason with others, counsel with self. Off turn to that spiritual import as so well applied, especially in the associations when the earth depended much upon the activities of the entity, physically as well as mentally and spiritually, for what it would become. For, the entity was among those eight souls in Noah's Ark saved for a definite purpose, and brought that influence in the earth that is today, that source from which spiritual and mental advance, has been kept toward that more commonly termed the more civilized of the groups or individuals. We find in Saturn the influences that to many, and off to self, become stumbling stones or blockings of ways in which all the beautiful thoughts, all the good intentions come tumbling because of material or social hindrances. These should be used as stepping stones. For in patience ye become aware of thy own soul, and thy own abilities. Think not that he in the flesh found not stumbling in the mind, and in the experience of each of those he chose, even as his representatives in the earth. As each of the twelve apostles represented major centers or regions or realms through which consciousness became aware in the body of the earth itself, so did he find, as in thine own self ye find, those twelve stumbling stones, those twelve things that oft not only disgust but disappoint thee, as to the reaction and way people and things react. These are the price of flesh, of material consciousness, and are only passing. Know deep within self that these, too, must pass away, but the beauty, the love, the hope, the faith remains ever. We find in Saturn that tendency to make changes, and yet these are not always, as applied in the experience in Mercury, Jupiter and Venus, in keeping with the ideals of the entity. For, the entity is an exception in this direction, it does have ideals, but not always does it keep those first and foremost. Remember that admonition, let others do as they may. No, as ye experienced, they that manifest in their relationships and dealings with their fellow man the glory, the appreciation, the thankfulness to the first cause, God, shall never be hungry, neither shall their seed ask for bread. He keepeth those who trust in him. In Saturn we find the failures, the disappointments, these oft in individuals, rather than in the purposes or activities in any direction as to the mental forces. In Saturn we find the weaknesses, yet the weakness of man is strong in the Lord. Thus keep that close contact with those abilities that have brought the unfoldment of the powers and the might of unseen forces. Cherish not that which may merely confuse or distract, but rather that in the admonition given by him of old, whose precepts ye applied, yea, and whose precepts ye so wantonly destroyed. Think not who will come from over the sea with a message that ye might know the Lord to do good, nor who will descend from heaven that ye might hear his voice. For, lo, it is within thee. It is closer than thy right hand, yea, it is nearer than the thought itself, or the breath which is of him in whom ye live and move, and have thy being the spirit of good will towards all. In Saturn we find the great changes that loom ever as the most important periods of the entity's experience. Magnified the more in the own imagination that they come to be almost a visible influence from those about the entity. These, as combined with Jupiter make for those experiences wherein there would be suggestions, not as rules or regulations, for the soul must choose. For, it is ever as has been indicated, there is day unto day set before thee life and death, good and evil choose thou. The choice, the self, the ego of each soul is that expression, that stamp, that image of the creative force, of the energy, of the God, which, is as the gift of God, making each individual entity aware, or conscious of itself and all its abilities to choose, to think this or that, to choose this direction or that direction. Know deep within self that nothing may separate thee from the knowledge or the love of God save thy own self. In Saturn we find varied changes as to environs through the experiences in the earth, changes of a definite nature brought about by antagonism in one direction or another with individual sources or individual personalities. These have been apparent in this material experience as well as in other sojourns. One definitely given to those things pertaining to a universal consciousness. 
Thus in any direction in which the entity may choose to be argumentative or active, the entity will find the ability at least materially, mentally or spiritually, to justify that stand taken. These may not all be cooperative or coordinated. The entity must learn indeed to understand that pronouncement, No, O Israel, the Lord thy God is one Lord. These, then, are body, mind, soul. Spirit, mentality, physical conditions these are all a part one of the other. They grow or deteriorate according to the manner in which those activities or ideas or mental concepts or precepts are coordinate. For as given, body, and mind and soul are the finite expressions of Father, Son and Holy Spirit, time, space and patience. All of these are one when they are coordinative in their activity. When they are not they are as opposing influences. These, men use as ideas, never as ideals but ideas. Ideas and ideals are quite different. One arises from the infinite, the other from the finite. In Mercury we find the high mental abilities, in Saturn the many changes, or as indicated, many talents. Yet these need their classification in thine own mind, as well as the use of same in whatever phase of experience or expression is sought. Seek and ye shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. This pertains to what might be termed the mystery of life that has been and is a part of the dream of every well-balanced person in those situations, those conditions as have been a part of the present entity. Then keep in the way of faith, as indicated. Oft Saturn appears in thy experience. Be not overcome with evil, but overcome evil with good. Be not sat upon by disappointments. It is he who gets up each time that the Lord loves and will sustain. Know that the try is counted for righteousness and will bring joy into thy heart and into thy life. Try. Pray often. Try and walk often with him and he will walk and talk with thee. We find in Saturn the great changes, the great overcoming of emotions, the great administrations of the entity to the needs of many under extreme circumstances. All of these are parts of the entity's experience. It is not necessary that the entity become over-anxious about self, nor yet too much in that way of condemning self. For as ye condemn, so will ye yourself be condemned. If the entity begins to condemn self for this or that, it becomes in that attitude of causing condemnation from those with whom the entity may come in contact. While the entity should not think more highly of itself than it ought to think, and while turmoils arise, budget thy time. Study physically so much, work so much, so much recreation, so much adding to the knowledge that is power in the study of those activities pertaining to efforts as to controlling, as to using, as to applying self in activities pertaining to education in its varied forms. For here we find an entity that would make a good scoutmaster, as a good way to term it. Whether with its own sex or with those of the other sex, the entity can make those things worthwhile pertaining to such activities. And Saturn, as indicated, will be much of those influences that seem or appear to come from underhanded sources, where there will be those activities on the part of individuals that will influence much the feelings, rather than the activities of the entity. These will, or must, be met by the individuality, rather than the personality of the entity, in making entities' decisions in the experiences through which this will make for those periods of depression, of the self's activities being questioned in self, and when decisions are arrived at, there will be the greater expanse of the abilities and talents of the entity. We find in Saturn the great changes in those environs or surroundings, as also in tenets to which the entity may turn, and has turned its attention from time to time. Thus in patience and persistence, do ye learn and become aware of thy soul being as one with God. In Saturn we find the changes which have come into thy experience in the present sojourn, quite different environments, individuals whom ye have trusted, individuals who have disappointed, individuals who have surprised you in their reaction to conditions and things and peoples, but if ye will keep the faith as ye were admonished and are admonished in the 30th of Deuteronomy, think not who will descend from heaven that ye may have a message, or who would come from over the seas that ye may hear and know, for lo, it is within thine own heart. All of God, then, that ye may know is that ye use and apply daily in thy relationships with others. For as ye do it unto others, ye do unto thy Maker. 
There is set before thee today and every day, good and evil, life and death, choose thou the holy way. For as ye keep his precepts, he hath promised, thy body is indeed the temple of the living God, and he will meet thee there. As ye pray, as ye meditate, he may speak with thee. For he is the same yesterday, today and forever, and will be thy God if ye will be his people. In Saturn we find quite a variation, or changes that have come or may come in the experience of the entity. These, then, may come the better in the preparation of self. Know that ye are indeed a favored child of God. Then just act like it. Begin with the study of this in self and remember as though it were. This is the divine speaking as to the self. Read it in Exodus 19.5. Then study and analyze the admonitions which are given by Moses, the lawgiver, when he was ready to depart, in the 30th of Deuteronomy. Then is that in the 91st Psalm, then the 23rd Psalm and 24th Psalm. These are as admonitions, not as that which would separate you from the social life, but rather bringing into your personality and individuality the divine which will attract you to, and be attracted to, that which will bring the greater harmonies in thy life. For as has been indicated in his promises, God will not withhold from those who love his coming any good thing, physically, materially or spiritually. But remember all is provisional provided ye keep and love his commandments, and these are not grievous, but are just everyday living. Use it. These we find as the urges latent and manifested. Astrologically we find Saturn, Mars, Jupiter, Venus, all are portions of the consciousness innately of this entity. Thus the entity has a passionate nature, fondness for affection, and this in particular has been denied, and the entity often is lonely deep within self. Know that this earth is not thy own, and the purpose in the earth is to prepare the soul body for companionship with its maker, God. Thus seek, don't blame creative energies, don't mourn for that which cannot be helped, but do find within self that desire for that which ye may do or say towards individuals, for others. Show forth the love ye know, ye may appreciate, which the Father showeth to the children of men in the gift of his Son, thy brother, that ye might have eternal life. Then as to the sorrow, which is to be a portion of thy present experience, accept it, not reject it, nor attempt to put it away. Be gentle, be kind, be patient, be long-suffering, and it will bring greater joy, greater harmony within thy experience, and you may be very sure that the next child which comes to thee with that ideal, will not only be beautiful in body and in mind, but may be a real blessing to many, especially in the study of what causes the activities and relationships with individuals producing, such as thy present sorrow. Either, then, as the study of the spiritual life or that which may be presented in the anatomical structure of body, mind and soul, may that soul which will be thy next companion in childbirth, bring to the world helpful forces, that less and less of such may be the lot of man, if parents will but listen. Do not blame self, do not blame thy companion, do not blame God. For it is self and thy companion meeting thistles in these conditions that this soul, too, may one day walk closer to God. For he, thy father God, hath not willed that any soul should perish, but hath with every temptation prepared a way for forgiveness, and thus may this soul in thy child now that hath caused so much, does cause so much sorrow, yet, through thy closer walk with thy God, know, too, the joy of the fatherhood of God, the brotherhood of man, the redeeming love of Jesus Christ. These should be the attitudes and let not any influence take that hope, that life which is thine, from thee. In Uranus we find the extremes, as in Saturn the changes, not merely in environ, but in the way of thought or in the manner of giving expression to self. Here, too, the warning would be, be mindful that ye keep the faith which is prompted by the answer of the spirit of truth within. Thus to the entity that question, then, more often, as to what is truth, and what effect the true meaning of the material, the mental and spiritual aspects, has upon the everyday life of the entity. Thus, as is seen, the confusion which comes at times to the entity. In Saturn we find both adverse and constructive influences, as these. While well, the entity has those abilities and the mental efficiencies in the directions as indicated, there is ever the fear of criticism on the part of the entity innately. 
this has prevented, does prevent the entity at times from accomplishing or reaching those ends and desires that are often felt in the experience, should be those things that should come to the entity. Yet the greater hindrance in many instances, and that which would have changed the very activity, has been self. While will is the ruling factor and is beyond any environmental, hereditary or innate experience, the entity or individual may allow self to be so governed by mental urges as to become subject to them. For, there is not the same application by the entity in this direction as to its own qualifications and its own abilities in relationships to that which it might have accomplished, as is felt innate in the mental abilities of the self. For here the entity comes to depend upon, or is inclined to blame circumstance for the very things that come into the experience. Yet if the entity would declare itself as respecting those things that are as innate qualifications or abilities in these directions, much might be accomplished. As to whether circumstance or environ is to rule an entity's being or experience or will, depends then the most upon what the entity or soul sets as its standard of qualifications to meet or measure up to within its own self, or as to how well self may be guided by its standard in making decisions in those directions. For, would that all souls could know that he, the giver of good and perfect gifts, is ever ready and willing to assist, even in the minutest details of a human experience, or in those things that deal with the activities of a soul with its fellow man, if the trust will but be put in him, for he has promised, I will not leave thee, but will abide with thee. Keep my commandments, for he that loves me keeps my commandments. What are his commandments? Do that in thine own experience to thy brother that thou wouldst do to thy maker, to thyself. This is from an influence, an indwelling in Saturn where even the influences may have been perfected, yet they come as tests, as trials, as experiences, that the injunction which has been given may be fulfilled in the experience of the soul, stand ye steadfast today, and see the glory of thy God within. Hence these have been as tendencies for the entity and the experience to fail here, in that it turned occasionally to those things that bespoke rather of the material things, or the influences from without appeared to be as necessities for the moment, losing patience with this, that, the other. Patience is not as a passive thing, but patience is necessary in the experience of each soul, rather as a positive active thing within the application of same. Thus an entity becomes aware of its own soul, and that soul's vision of the glories that may be its experience and its associations with those promises in the creative force of the soul along, that is eternal, and in the image of the Maker.